If you live in a state that requires state inspection uh, in order to be legal on the roads, you have to take it in once a year to have it checked out and they usually hook it up to a computer and whatnot. Well, I went to go take mine in for inspection and of course you see my idiot light on there. And I have a 2002 Chrysler Sebring. Now, uh, I took it in and they said it didn't pass. So I did some research on why this light was on. And a couple of things I found out were pretty interesting. So I'm going to shut the car off to show you uh, how, how you can find what the code is. On the, on the 2002 and up, Chrysler products, uh, what you can do is you can turn the key, it's, they call it the key dance, but you can turn it from uh, accessory to on, back and forth, about three or four times, and it will show you the code right here, I'll show you, uh, and show code will show up right here under the odometer, let's let it focus in, so I'm going to do the key dance. P1684. Now that code just means that I disconnected the battery. Um, and now it says it's done. Uh, but uh, when I had it hooked up to, say, uh, you go to an auto parts store like AutoZone or, or O'Reilly's or whatever, uh, they give you a different code. And I actually, I took, I had a, the first time I actually got a code that was really anything of concern was when I took it to uh, my inspection station and they they had a code of uh, P0601 and on Chrysler products that means my computer is has something wrong with it but uh, regardless I couldn't get my car inspected with that code There's a P0601 code. So it cycles through all the codes and that's how you know what codes you got uh, with the with the idiot light and the idiot light was blinking so then what you can do is go on the internet and find out what those codes mean. Unfortunately my code means that my computer's tanked. Uh, here's a, a couple of things you can do uh, unrelated to, to my problem now to when you get an idiot light to reset that code all right here's the PCM here I believe this is the PCM uh, what I looked up online it says it was the the box with the fins behind the driver side headlamp and uh, PCM stands for powertrain module control uh, I'm not quite sure what it does but it's the computer and this is uh, some other module control I'm not quite sure what it is but these are I guess these make up uh, all the electronic brains of the of the car um, now when you get an idiot lamp uh, like I showed you how to do the key dance and check out what codes you have uh, if it turns out to be like a bogus code or, or you don't quite understand what it means what you can do is you can disconnect the battery now uh, it's a wise thing to just disconnect the negative this this goes to the battery now in a Sebring the battery is actually right underneath here inside the wheel well and I'll show you it's uh, it's yeah, this is the uh, driver side front tire it's, it's actually right here and to get to the battery you have to take the wheel off and then um, take this little uh, fairing flap out and then the battery sits on a shelf under here I I'm not going to take the battery out because it's, it's quite a, a bit of work but <clears throat> anyway uh, what you want to do to reset that light manually is disconnect this for about 30 seconds and that should turn the uh, the check engine light off now if there's a true fault you'll drive it uh, I think uh, the guy at the inspection said, place said uh, if you drive it for about 50 miles and it doesn't come back on, chances are it's probably going to be good. 
so I'm, what I'm going to do, I, I've already done it, but I'm going to go ahead and take this off and show you a couple of other things you can do. All right, I've re removed the negative battery terminal, and uh, this actually goes to wherever it goes to ground or whatever. Uh, but this this uh, directly goes to the the negative uh, terminal of the battery because it goes. Uh, you can see it goes straight down to the battery, and then this is the positive terminal, and I'll show you uh, what you can do with that uh, in a little bit. Uh, first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this off I think it's been about 30 seconds and put it back on and show you that the light has has gone off a little arc and spark there alright of course when you do this it's um, what it does <laughs> It resets your radio, so all your presets in your radio are gone. So there you go. The car is running now, and my idiot light is off. So what I can do is I can do the key dance again and see what kind of code I get. Let me zoom in on the, the code section. Uh, my trunk lid is open, so that's why it says deck, but hopefully it's... Yeah, I did it. There it is. 1684 just means that my uh, the battery's been disconnected, but there are no codes uh, on there right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now maybe disconnect the negative and the positive and touch the two ends together not the battery ends uh, connect the ground to the positive side of the car that would connect to the battery and see if I can reset the codes and uh, hopefully drive it around and and make that code go away in their infinite wisdom somebody at Chrysler had decided that uh, we don't need to take this battery terminal out so it's too short you can see down there right here that's the battery right there here's my headlight here's my fender that's the battery right there right inside the fender and this is indeed the, the positive battery terminal so I couldn't disconnect it from whatever this is the fuse relay center so what I did was I stuck a piece of non-conductive material this piece of plastic and um, so I could isolate the post from the battery and verify that indeed there's no power getting into the power system by reconnecting the negative side and making sure that the the car won't turn on so indeed the, the battery is now isolated from the power system now I'm not recommending you do this I'm going to do this, so I take full responsibility for screwing up my car. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ground out using my battery jumper cables, the, the two black leads. Again, I've verified that there's no power to the car, and I'm going to ground out this, this system here. Hold on. Okay, I made sure the car is dead. I'm going to touch this lead just to the center post and not to the uh, battery terminal. Make sure these uh, uh, copper is touching it. So, so there, I'm going to hold it on there for 30 seconds and hook it back together and hopefully uh, it will clear out the codes and uh, get it back together. What a pain in the behind. Uh, but anyway, got this hooked back up. Got that hooked back up, got that tightened down. Uh, you see I got a little dirty. So let's, uh, let's take a look inside, uh, start the car up and see if that code is gone. Still, or still gone, let's put it that way. All right, okay. Yes. C, 
1684. That means the battery would just disconnect it at one time. Let's see what else. Next code. 0601. Oh well. But that's how you reset the code. I'm gonna start the car. And show you that. Uh, show you that the light will. Well, the light should go off. Nope, it didn't go off. That's weird. Oh well. Hope that helps somebody out there. See you later.